Thanks be to God who has enabled us to gather again that we may break fresh bread from the ovens of heaven to enrich our lives and strengthen our faith. God in the highest who continues to bless us, continues to reveal himself to us as we continue feeding on this fresh bread from the ovens of heaven itself. God continues to bless us and we continue with our thought, the scent of blessing. Regardless of where we are, regardless of the environment, his blessing continues to be our portion. We carry on with our thought, and today we take our reading from the book of Genesis chapter 26. We'll read one verse, verse 16. Scripture says, Then Abimelech said to Isaac, Go from us, for you are much greater than us. You are much greater than us because the blessing of God was upon Isaac. Shall we pray? Everlasting Father in heaven, we are thankful. And we pray that you continue speaking to us, even to the glory and to the honor of your name. Let the scent of blessing be upon us, regardless of where we are. For the sake of Christ, in whose name we pray. the beginning of Genesis 26, there was a famine in the land and Isaac had to go. And as he was going, the Lord spoke to him, abide here, stay in Gerar, don't go down to Egypt. And so Isaac stayed. He was a refugee. He was an economic refugee seeking to enlarge whatever he had. And while he was there, the Lord said to him, Stay here, I will bless you, because we serve a covenant-keeping God. He was going to be blessed because of his father, Abraham. The promise that God had made to Abraham was going to be fulfilled in Isaac. So Isaac was going to be blessed because God keeps the covenant. And so this morning, I want to tell you, we serve a covenant-keeping God who will bless you because of what he said. Not because of where you are, not because of who you are, but because of whose you are. The blessing will rest upon you for the sake of the covenant that God had made covenant-keeping God. So Isaac stayed, and Isaac abound, and Isaac was blessed. He continued to prosper. And you know, he continued to prosper even despite his deficiencies, because Isaac was a coward. He was afraid of the people. He told a lie concerning his wife, because she was pretty, and he was afraid she would be taken from him. But despite that, he was blessed. Scripture says, there was a famine Isaac planted and he harvested a hundredfold of what he had planted. He continued to grow. He continued to prosper. He continued to be enlarged. In a foreign land, an economic refugee, he continued to grow in wealth. And scripture says he owned much and he continued to prosper while he was there. So point number two, it doesn't matter where you are. It just matters that you trust 
in that God. You know, he, he was in a foreign land, removed from his land because of economic difficulties. And he continued to be blessed. So I'm here to tell you, you may look like you are a foreigner. You may look like you are far away. But while you are still there and you are trusting in this God, he continues to bless you and enlarge your territory. He was so blessed, he was so enlarged that the king said to him, move away from us because you are greater than we are. Move away from our midst because you are greater than us. Sometimes the people who live with us, the people in whose land we live, the people who should be more blessed than we are, and they are sending you away from their midst, it's not because you've done wrong, it's simply because you're blessed. When the people you do business with don't want to trust you, it's simply because you are blessed. When the people who are your landlord and they're saying to you, move away from our midst, it's simply because you're blessed. And so this morning is good for you to know. It may not because it may not be because of what you've done that is wrong. It's simply because you're blessed. Your children are blessed. The work of your hands is blessed. Your business is blessed. Your animals are blessed. Your farmyard is blessed. Simply because you are blessed, they do not want to have you close to them. And Isaac moved and went. And he went with his blessings. He went because he was blessed. This morning, don't worry about the people. Just rejoice on the fact that you are blessed. It is that blessing that will keep you. It is that blessing that will continue to grow because the blessing of God is on you. Isaac was told his children will be given that land. The land from which he was being sent away from was a land that God had promised his father Abraham and continued to promise to keep him in that land. So even as he was going, he was going knowing, I am going, but I'll be back. You know, like that old movie? And at the end, the guy says, I'll be back. Terminator, I'll be back. It's good to know that while they are sending you away, you go away, but you go away knowing, I will be back. Because I serve a covenant keeping God who will bless me. Even when I go, he will return me because he blesses me. He will return me to this land because I am blessed. So the scent of the blessing be upon you. The scent of the blessing glorify God in your very being. The scent of the blessing will keep you there. Will keep you in the foreign land blessed. When they evict you, you will still be blessed. When they talk about you, you will still be blessed. And above all, you will be back because you are blessed. So whatever the circumstance that you may be in right now, you will be back. Because God has said, this is your territory and the scent of his blessing. Is upon you. Shall we pray? Gracious Father in heaven, we are thankful for the opportunity of gathering in our separateness even where we are. Thank you for reminding us that we are blessed, that the scent of your blessing is on us, that your blessing is not dependent on the environment. Indeed, the very environment from which we are evicted is the very environment of our blessing 
because you said so. So be together with us, O Lord, for the sake of Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. And now I commend you into the hands of the living God, who alone is able to keep you and to sustain you, keep you blessed even in a foreign land, continue to enlarge you even when you are in refuge. This blessing continue to be with you as you run your businesses, as you serve the people who have employed you, as you seek opportunities. This blessing is your portion and the ones you love, both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Even as a refugee, I am blessed and I am great in you.